What's up guys, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and now we are going to start part 3 of our Ajax tutorial series. So in the previous tutorial, we went through all the reasoning why we need to configure an Ajax object. And then we figured out how we were going to configure that Ajax object and then we said if it is not null, meaning now the Ajax object has some kind of value, then we want to do all the juicy stuff in the body here. But if the Ajax object is still null, then we want to alert the user and tell them that they do not have a compatible browser. So now what I want to do is I want to type some of that juicy stuff that I keep talking about, and then I'm going to explain it. So the first thing I want you guys to do is say Ajax object dot open, and then a semicolon, and then say, whoop, and then over here, say Ajax object dot send. Okay, so the first statement is saying, hey, I have a request and I want to open this request. So you're like kind of initializing the request of what you want to do. And then in the send, you send out that request. So the send is not going to have any parameters, but the open is, because here you're going to start talking about your request to the server and you're going to say, hey, I have this request and this is what I want to do. And then in the send, you're going to send it out. So the parameters that you are going to have in the open, they're going to be three parameters. The first parameter is whether this is going to be a get request or a post request. Nine times out of 10, you are going to be using a get request because you are going to want to get some information from the server and bring it back. In the later tutorials, we are going to learn how to utilize a post request, which is usually what you would do on something like a form. But since all we want to do is get Ajax test.html, so we want to go out and get it and bring it back, this would be a get request. So in your first, um, in your first um, brace, in the first parameter here, just say get. So now you are saying, I want to open a request, and it's going to be a get request, all right? In the second parameter, you are going to actually say what you want to get. So this would be the actual URL of what you want to go out and get. So what we could do is we can say Ajax test.html here. But if you remember, we sent through the parameters Ajax test.html. So what you would put here is just URL. So in here, when we call this onClick function, it will take Ajax test.html, it would send it into this parameter here, and then it would send it here. So it will say now, I want to open a request, I want it to be a get request, and what do I want to get? I want to get that URL. And the last parameter we are going to say is either true or false. We will say true if we want this to happen asynchronously meaning we want to open a request, get that URL, and all do it without the browser refreshing. If we want that to happen, we say true. Now, if we wanted the browser to refresh and we didn't want this to happen asynchronously, we would say false. But as you guys might realize, the whole purpose of this tutorial is so that things will happen asynchronously. So nine times out of 10, or more 99.999% of the time, I should say, this will always be true. So we want to open a request. We want that request to be a get request because we want to go out and get something. And what are we going to get? We're going to go out and get that URL and we want it to happen asynchronously. So here you are kind of writing down all the details of what you want to do in this open section. And then after you get them all written down and you have everything that you want, then you tell that Ajax object to send that request to the server. So you're saying, all right, I know what I want to do, now send it off and now the server will catch it. So in the next tutorial, we're going to figure out what will happen after we send that request. So now the server's going to get it, the server's going to do some funky things, and then it's going to relay some information. So we're almost there. And now you can see why we only wanted to do this if the Ajax object was not null, meaning that it was configured and that it was ready to take requests. So that if the user does not have a compatible browser, they will never open this request and they will never send anything. That's why we put this if statement here. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com, and I hope this tutorial was useful.